today I'm going to do something a little bit different. If you've seen my other video where I removed the cats off of this truck, uh, it's 2005 GMC Sierra if you want to know. But if you've seen that video, you might wonder, well, isn't your check engine light going to be on? Well, yes, it is. And today I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. Um, first off, I'm going to show you that it is on. Second, pay no attention to the uh, oil pressure thing right there. These trucks are known for having bad gauges. It's the, uh, it's the little motor that does it. I know it's got good oil pressure, so I'm not really that worried about it. I, you can have them rebuilt, but I'm not worried about it right this second. If I lose speedometer or fuel or temperature gauge, something like that, then I'll have it fixed. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to get rid of that and fool the computer into thinking that your cats are still there for cheap. Okay, so how I'm going to fool the computer on my truck to get rid of the check engine light for the rear O2 sensors, if you remove your cats, you'll need this. Um, they're called spark plug non-foulers. I don't know if you can read that, but that's what they're called. Uh, you can get them in O'Reilly's is where I got them. They look, like, they look like this. Basically what they're supposed to do, what they're intended for, is uh, it will keep from fouling the spark plug out like if you've got excessive blow by I guess I don't really know but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take screw the two that come in the pack together you'll need four if you have two cats I have my truck has two cats so I need four if you only got one cat you only need one one pack you're gonna pack of two so what you're gonna do is you're, you're gonna screw them together and you're gonna screw your O2 sensor in it but before you can do that You've got to drill a hole into one of them so that the end of the O2 sensor will go through that hole. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so I've got it in the vise. I'm going to take this drill bit. I'm not going to tell you what size mine is because it's probably not relevant to yours. Just all you got to do is make sure the end of your O2 sensor fits in this hole when you're done. Um, this drill bit is courtesy of Tyler. The other half of this operation, um, if you have, if you don't know who he is, and this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe and uh, watch all the other videos too. Unless you don't care, then don't. I don't care. Okay, so now that's done and nice and hot. You're gonna want to grab it shit burn yourself and drop it that's the best way to do it then what you'll do is uh, screw them together like so you got the hole in it and uh, you'll screw this part into the exhaust pipe where the O2 sensor usually goes then you'll screw the O2 sensor into this part this into the fitting that you made and then you plug it back in It'll fool the computer into thinking that you still have the uh, the catalytic converters. Um, it doesn't work all the time, but every time I've ever used it, it's it's worked. I've used it on Ford, Chevys. It's worked every time I've done it. Uh, you could also get it programmed out of the computer, like if you go get it tuned or whatever. I do have a programmer for that truck, but it's only to, I pretty much only bought it. It's a cheap one. I pretty much only bought it to change the tire size so my speedometer is correct and shift the uh, shift points but anyway I'll show you I'll probably just t take a picture and put it in here to show you what it looks like under the truck because it's really hard to take this camera under there it's not enough light uh, or maybe I'll do it on my phone or something like that you'll see in the next frame alright well thanks for watching uh, this video I hope it helped you and I hope it's worked on your vehicle if you've done this um, if you have inspections, it will not fool the inspection. But uh, if you, we, in Shelby County here in Tennessee, we don't have inspections anymore. So uh, it's fine. We don't have to worry about that. But uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Uh, we got cool videos like this jet ski that we put 
a Harbor Freight 420cc Predator in. Uh, it's failed a couple times, but next time it's going to work. Right over there, you can probably see that headlight. That's my Camaro. I did a few things on that also. There's going to be more to that this summer for sure. So, as always, if you like it, like it. If you want to say something, say something. Comment. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to watch our old videos, watch our old videos. See you next time.